Hey everyone, Arizona Kid here. Uh, thanks for dropping by. Uh, if you already haven't, please hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And I also want to talk to everybody that has watched my video about the train bridge. Uh, yeah, I think that's what it'd be called, the train bridge. It might have a better description than that, but if you watch that video, uh, get about halfway through. I'm not going to tell you, I'm going to make you watch it. Sorry. But, uh, there's a giveaway on there, but to everybody that's already seen that and done the giveaway, I did do a big mail off today. I just mailed them off today. So some of you guys are in different places around the U.S. on different states, so they probably get there at different times, but I, I did mail that away today. So uh, now that you all know that and know to go watch that video, if you want part of the giveaway, you can see it on that video. But let's get to what this video is all about. We're gonna be doing today, sorry, I gotta itch on my knee. Scratch my knee. But uh, we're gonna be doing today the foreman. I get a lot of questions about the foreman. You know, what What made me want to buy the foreman, even though a lot of it with me is different circumstances. It was the only one with a foot shift at the time. And, uh, but still, overall, finding out that it has the, the locking differential, that makes a big, big difference on it. So I have a lot of people ask me, and that's my, biggest difference I tell them right now don't get me wrong there's other ones you know a little bit tire size you know this little door right here that opens you know there is other differences but the biggest one for the money to me is that locking differential on the front and I did a video a while back and it's not the greatest video you don't get to see it slipping and grabbing I've actually been in a position where I had the bike like sideways going up a hill and one tire was off the ground and it was spinning and I locked it in, but I couldn't get up that hill. I was stuck there and it was kind of scary because I was kind of like at a, a slant, but no sooner I locked it in, it pulled me up, you know, and people go, well, how many times are you going to be in a weird situation like that? Probably not very often, but then I had a gentleman say he's going to use it on the farm, you know, just that extra pulling power alone. Like even I did the I did the tug of war. You guys haven't seen that video with that that. But I did the tug of war between the Rancher 420 and the the Foreman uh, 5 520, right? Yeah. And uh, people were saying, "Why don't you lock that locker in?" You know, and pull that bike. And I'm like, eh, "I was trying to keep it fair," you know. So that locker does make a difference. But let me get to the video because I don't want this video to be super long, and I'll show you when one is slipping and when the other one's just gonna grab and go. So you guys can see that and then you can make your determination, what do you want? You know, do you wanna spend the extra 1,500 to 2,000 for that locker or do you not want to spend that money? But, but uh, now that I have it, I'd lean towards the buying it, but that's just my opinion. You guys need to make your own opinion. So this might help you make your own opinion out. So let's get to the video and uh, I'm gonna pause it and go get set up and you guys will see what's going on. Okay guys, that was perfect. Did you guys see how this tire right here, it only spun. This tire didn't spin, because that's because it's on limited slip right now, four wheel drive. So that exactly tells you what'll happen. That was perfect, I can't get a better video than that, I think. That exactly shows you what limited slip does. Now, I'm going to leave that piece of wood right there, and I'm gonna put the locker in, and we're gonna show you what it does after that to show you the difference between the locker and the non-locker. Okay, here we go.
you guys see that? Yeah, so it didn't even hesitate to grab that piece of wood and to fling it out. So I hope this shows you guys the difference between limited slip and having that front locker on a Foreman. Now I know Rubicons come with it also, but that just goes to show you. Oh, I also had one of my videos from the guys trying to say that the, the grill changed on the 2021 on the Honda Foreman. As you can see there, they did not change for the same. I do not know why I'm adding that to this video other than squirrel, see the squirrel run by? Just joking. So once again, guys, hope you liked this video. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. And also if you want to do a uh, part of that giveaway, go watch uh, the train bridge video. And uh, as always, keep the powder dry. And I'll see you guys on the next video.